What's up, family? Welcome to the Strong Tower Graduation Podcast. We have some exciting guests graduating our program. Uh, they will be sharing their experiences from the past 12 months here at Strong Tower. So grab your snacks, get comfy as we go right in. <laughs> you want me to answer the question again? Then? So, yeah, but, oh. but I'm going to ask again. So, so Randy said, okay, so uh, what are y'all's names? Uh, how old are y'all and where are y'all from? Um, my name is Benjamin. Uh, I'm 18 years old. I was born in Corpus Christi and I was uh, raised in Lee City. Nice. Uh, my name's Robert. I'm from right up the road, Friendswood, Pearland area, kind of in my backyard. Nice. My name is Tony Lynn Bodwin, and um, I am 36 years old, and I am from Lake Trolls, Louisiana. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, y'all are graduating Strong Tower, right? How do y'all feel about that? Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. It feels it feels uh, crazy, I guess. It's like a goal that I never really thought I would achieve, you know, which mm-hmm. is just crazy, really. That's awesome. Super excited. Uh, it's actually turned out to be one of the best years of my life. And looking forward to seeing what God has in store for me next. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to make it to this point for multiple reasons, but uh, it uh, feels good to accomplish something again. Amen. Let's talk a little bit about um, what the Lord has done in, in, in your life, in y'all's life. Um, can you tell me a little bit of... of what you used to struggle with, or what were you battling? What was life like before Strong Tower? Um, like right before Strong Tower, I was in the uh, Galveston County Jail for like two months. Uh, but before then, I got to that point because I was I was hanging around with the wrong people. Um, started getting involved in the wrong stuff, doing the wrong stuff for the wrong reasons, uh, thinking it was right, thinking it was just in the best interest, but <clears throat> Slowly, I started uh, doing whatever I could to get money here, uh, talk to these girls here, do whatever I could just to be accepted, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up stealing a car, uh, stealing some money, getting arrested, uh, and then showing up to Strong Tower the day I got out. My situation is a little bit different. Uh, I had 11 months of sobriety before getting here, mm-hmm. but in uh, April of 2022, mm-hmm. I received a fourth offense DWI. And uh, I was facing 10 to 30 years in prison and in my lawyer found strong tower. And so uh, but life before that was was wild. It was crazy. Um, a lot of suicide attempts, uh, a lot of depression and just caught in my addiction with alcohol and pills. Uh, for me, you know, I guess I've been battling my whole life with major depression, learning how to love myself. It's something I never figured out how to do. And uh, but. A year and a half ago, I finally wound up suicidal. Uh, I'd been drinking a lot and uh, spent some time in a psych hospital. Got out, problem wasn't fixed. Uh, went to a rehab, got dry. So that was September 10th, 2021. And I've been dry since then, but I'm still dead. Yeah. You know, And it, it took coming here to learn how to just love and accept myself as I am. And it's something I was never able to do. So Benjamin, uh, how difficult were your first few days here at Strong Tower? Oh my gosh, they were hard. They were terrible. I didn't <laughs> think I could do it. I was like, man, there's no way I could see myself making it a year, a week, a day. I was like, there's no way. I was like, probation's going to call one day and just say I can go and it's going to be great. So, yeah, that's good, Tony. Uh, the first day I went to work uh, right away in the wood shop, but yeah. it was hard. <laughs> I did not want to be here. Yeah. I was like, there's no way I can do this. Uh, the first visit, I was like, y'all got to take me home. First phone call, I fell out crying. Like, I want to go home. Like, yeah. It was hard. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember, like, coming through intake. As soon as I got here, and Marcus is, like, digging through all my stuff and everything. And I'm thinking, man, I'm pissing again. <laughs> this is a shakedown or what? <laughs> what am I even doing? I, I was that close to just wanting to, like, go right then and there. Yeah. And uh, But then, you know, people just started loving on me. Yeah. And uh, I hadn't had that in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> when did you uh, or when did y'all realize that that you needed to be here, that it was actually God that 
that had opened this store? When when did that happen? Well, uh, it was about in November. I've been here eight and a half months. <laughs> uh, I punched Allen in the face. I got kicked out for a week, and I was like, dang. I was like, I kind of got a problem, huh? <laughs> I was like, I guess I got a little bit of an anger issue. And then uh, I ended up calling every day, and they said, uh, you know, it's a restart. There's no telling when you're graduating. And I was like, dang. I was like, man, I don't want to do this. But I came back. I was like, man, this must be... I must have some issues deep down inside me that I need to work out. And uh, so, yeah, came back. I stuck it out again. Hey, man, that's good. Um, everything changed for me uh, between four and six months. Uh, at six months, I took an internship and uh, God was showing me that I wasn't really here um, for what I thought, you know, and um, I was here to learn um, how to do ministry life and yeah. how to serve. And uh, it's good. Yeah. And then I started to fall in love with this ministry. It's awesome. So good. Tell me. Well, I think for me, it was uh, my first experience at resting rooms here. Nice. I was up there, got to praise and worship for the first time in several years. And uh, I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me again. Come on. And, you know, he's like, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> so good, Robert. It's so good, bro. That's awesome. So, um, in, 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 it's hard because I, I hadn't heard start planning, we'll start planning. I'm just going to I hadn't here. heard that voice inside in probably about three years. And uh, yes. I started crying right then when I did hear him. Yeah. You know? So good. So good. How has Strong Tower helped you? What has Strong Tower done for you? Um, <clears throat> Strong Tower for me personally uh, has helped me. Uh, Gained a closer relationship with God, you know, shaped like kind of the the area of, of how to live my life uh, as a man and uh, what to do and, and what I shouldn't do, what to stray away from it and what to kind of walk towards. I guess that's mm -hmm. kind of what it's done for me in a way. Yeah, it's good. So for me, um, Strong Tower has um, helped me draw closer to God and then um, also to have a love for people. Um, that I never had before. And so, super grateful. It's good. Uh, Strong Tire has helped me to accept myself. And uh, the one thing I probably appreciate the most is giving us an opportunity and a space to get with God and then getting out of our way and letting us do so. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just awesome. You know, what is your favorite part about Strong Tire? Oh, uh, <laughs> my favorite part personally about Strong Tire is a. Uh, just the love, the laughter, the life, you know, uh, you see everybody like, what's up? And you get them hugs and all that stuff. You know, it's just a, a, a fellowship. It is, it's, it's a family, you know, and, and it's just a family off the rip. You know, you don't really know what nobody's been through. If you do or you don't have to know, you don't have to just open up. You can, but it's just, it's just a care that's just there off the rip. And it's pretty cool. Well, so good. Uh, my favorite part about Strong Tower is, uh, traveling. I love the mission trips. Uh, I love being in front of the stores and um, just being able to share with people uh, what we do and um, how many lives have changed through our ministry. Come on. So good. Uh, for me, I guess my favorite part of Strong Tower is coming back from those mission trips and nice. and having the warm welcomes and the hugs and, nice. you know, coming back to family. Come on. So uh, just to end this, this, um, this, podcast testimony uh, deal that we got going on. Thank you. Let's end with thank you. So whoever you would want to thank, um, you can go ahead and do so. Oh, man, this is like one of the where I got to say every single person. I said, he's gonna get I should have bought a big old list like this big. Everybody in dorm one, two, yeah. three, four, five. All right. Oh, uh, I guess uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you to uh, you know, God, uh, Jesus, my Lord and Savior for, you know, just God in my steps, taking me out of, of what I thought was the good thing and uh, placing me in a better situation. Uh, thanks to uh, all of my siblings for supporting me, uh, my adoptive parents for, you know, taking me in, even though I'd buck all the time, uh, you know, answering the phone now, uh, my biological mom for giving birth to me, uh, writing me back, <clears throat> uh, the people here, uh, you know, that people I could look up to. Robert, you know, I remember when he got here, it's cool. Just, now we're both doing this together. 
So like, thank you, you know what I mean, for staying for the ride. Uh, Daniel, thank you for, you know what I mean, always doing all that, tone into me and stuff like that, even when I didn't want to hear it. Uh, Josh Kaleo, thanks to him for, you know what I mean, being a big brother that I never had. Um, dang, I don't even know everybody's name. I'm just so stressed out right now. <laughs> Just thank you, everybody at Strong Tower Ministries. Uh, Ricky, Ben, uh, all of y'all. Thank y'all. You go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't I, even know where to start. I would have to say, like, I'm going to start off at the top. You know, thank you, Pastor, for the love in your heart and providing a place like this for broken, <laughs> broken people to be loved on by broken people, uh, helping each other. And uh, thank you, Miss P, for always praying for us and putting up with us because I know we're all a bunch of ruffians and knuckleheads, a whole lot of us male and female alike. And uh, thank you, Ricky and Ben, for, well, thank you. Enough said. We don't need to share it. <laughs> and uh, uh, Marcus, uh, lifestyle, and uh, uh, I don't know what that means. And uh, <laughs> Uh, I would say thank you to Cody, probably, out of everybody I go out with, uh, for being my kryptonite and my power up, man. So, you know, <laughs> it's it's a love-hate thing, man. But, you know, I think we really fuel the best of each other. So, um, And then all of Dorm 1, you know, like I said earlier, you know, having brothers to pray with is something, something powerful, man. Mm -hmm. It's powerful to have family and, and to pray together. So, that's all it. Right. So first, I want to thank God, um, and then uh, I want to thank Pastor and Miss Kendra um, for their commitment to to this life, um, to helping people. Uh, Miss Patricia and uh, Miss Cat for sure, and um, uh, my fellow interns, and then obviously my family, uh, my mom and dad, for still to this day um, never um, giving up and never turning their back on me. So. Uh, Really excited to see what this next year um, has in store for me here at Strong Tower. So, yeah, thanks. Well, thank you guys for sharing your testimony of what the Lord has done. We're so proud of you. Uh, congratulations, and we love you. So, love you. You can clap for each other. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we can head out. Uh, Thank you, Pastor and uh, Miss Patricia.